This video was brought to you by Technically Not a Technician. Flashing a Raspberry Pi 3B so it will boot from a USB drive. In today's video we will show you how to flash the firmware in your Raspberry Pi 3B so that it will boot from both a USB drive and from an SD card. For this video we will be using a 16GB SD card, Raspberry Pi 3B, 32GB USB drive, keyboard mouse combo, and a monitor. To set this up we will be using a Windows 7 laptop, Notepad++ Win32 Disk Imager, Raspberry Pi OS, and 7-Zip. Links for all the software are in the description, if you need them, and for this video, I'm going to assume that you've had them, or equivalents installed. The first thing we need to do is download our image file. To do this simply google Raspberry Pi OS. The link we need should be the very first. From here you'll want to scroll down to the area that says manually install an operating system image and click on the see all downloads. Once there, scroll down about halfway through the page and find Raspberry Pi OS 64-bit. You will be able to use the 32-bit version of Raspberry OS, but I like this one, so it is the one we will be using. Once you have it downloaded you will need to unzip the download file with 7-zip or your preferred zip utility. After the image files are downloaded and unzipped, you will need to open Win32 Disk Imager and navigate to your Downloads folder so you can find the image. I like Win32 Disk Imager. However, there are a ton of other similar utilities that you can use. You will now need to place your SD card into your computer and tell Win32 Disk Imager what drive your SD card is parked on. Please verify that you are using the correct drive and image. Once you have your image and drive selected you can hit write image to drive. This will take a minute or two depending on the speed of your computer. Once your SD card is flashed with our image, we will need to add some code that will change the settings on the internal chips on your Pi. To do this, we will need to find our SD card. As you can see it is now labeled as boot. Once we've found the boot drive, open it and find the config.txt file. Once you've found the config.txt file, right click on it and open it with Notepad++ or your favorite edit utility. Once it is open, we will simply scroll all the way to the bottom and we will add the following code.
program underscore usb underscore boot underscore mode equals one you will also find this code in the description this code will tell our pi 3 that we first wish to try and boot from the usb drive before we try and boot from the sd card However, if no bootable USB drive is available, the Pi will then try and boot from an SD card. This SD card can now be used to change the boot setting on any Raspberry Pi 3. So, if you have others that you would like to set up like this, simply use this SD card to boot from. If you wish to ever change your Pi 3 back, simply change the 1 to a 0 in the code and use the card to boot again. We will also use the same image to flash the USB drive. Again, open Win32 Disk Imager and navigate to the image file. Then plug your USB drive in and select the drive it is on. Once done click right to drive. Again, verify you have the right drive and image. The speed will vary depending on the speed of your drive and speed of your computer. Now that we have both drives flashed, we're ready to flash our Pi 3 with our SD card and see if we can get our Pi to boot from the USB drive. Let's place our SD card into our Pi and boot it up. I may have forgotten to plug the keyboard in, that's my bad. As you can see it boots and seems like it is only doing the normal first time setup. In reality our Pi is doing its first time setup but is also changing the internal settings to operate as we have directed. I'm going to do a basic setup on this SD card so we can shut it down properly. I've also made a video showing you how to flash the firmware in a Pi 4, if you'd like to see how to do that please see the above link. I'll place a link to that video in the description for your convenience. Now that the system is done and we have everything set up, we can shut down the Pi, remove the SD card, and reboot our Raspberry Pi using the USB drive. Let's replace the SD card with our USB drive and see if we can get our Pi to boot.
So far, so good. It looks as if the changes we've made are working, and we can now boot from a USB drive or from an SD card. What a time to be alive. We will just do some basic setup and verify everything is working. Remember ladies and gents, if you're not having fun with your Wi-Fi name, you're not really living. It looks like everything is working as expected. I hope you've enjoyed our video, for more great tips and content, please remember to, like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell to turn on notifications, and share.